So after this meeting, three more meetings left since we changed the summer schedule. Um, so really until what, October we'll meet. So July, August, September, October we'll meet. Three more meetings. Uh Oh, we're going to meet in September? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Because we mm -hmm. used to go back in September. We used to go back in September. Remember, right. we changed, I think, in January or uh -huh, February, uh -huh. we changed to the summer schedule so that we would meet during the summer. Okay. Okay, so, so, so it kind of took us from meeting like five or six times a year more to like eight or nine times a year so we can get a little bit more done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know it's a little bit more t time out of you guys' schedule, so I want to start with just thanking everyone for continuing to come. I know we have a smaller group tonight, but for those that have been coming faithfully and calling me and emailing and all that, I appreciate it and I hope that it keeps keeps coming. I know sometimes I get a little focused on the agenda or pro solving the problem or sometimes we have a little side conversations here. So if anybody um, feels like they aren't heard, just pull me to the side or give me a call or email me and I'll make sure that we kind of address you. Okay. So with that being said, uh, Ms. Tavner, if you want to go ahead and read over the meeting minutes from... Sure. Minutes from June 28, 2017. Civic meeting commenced at 7 p.m. Presiding, Mr. Hyman, President. Minutes were read and approved. President Hyman stated that deeds restrictions does not shape the community, but people do. We want to change the image of the Civic Club. Raising awareness, mirrors and issues, public parking and sidewalks, and etc. There are <coughs> beautification grants. We need a true assessment. Mr. Gregory, uh, Benjamin Gregory, our vice president, stated that he has found a venue uh, connection. Block party is yet in the making. Yard signs, uh, they discussed yard signs, two part signs, 18 by 24. Meeting was adjourned at 8.45 p.m. Jason Hyman, president, Barbara, of uh, Benjamin Gregory, Vice President, Barbara Tappan, Secretary, Bobby L. Tappan, Treasurer. All right, I have a motion to I accept. I move that we accept the motion. Second. 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 All right. Oh, this is a. Uh, are these copies to pass? Everybody has copies? Okay. I'll hold on to the rest. Then. You didn't get a copy, did you, Miss? I don't no, think I'm she sorry. had one. She had one. I sent just enough for each person. Mm -hmm. She has one, one, I think. No, a copy of this. Oh, you know, okay. the amount of. Okay. Anybody else need a treasurer's report? Oh, okay. 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 So we accept the meeting minutes is read. We have a second. Um, Mr. Tapping, if you want to go over the financial report? Okay. And good evening, to each, everybody. Uh, you have a copy. It reads June 2017, and it's explanatory. Only thing that I took off is the account number. It did not need to be all around. So, okay. Here we see the beginning balance was seven thousand eight hundred seventy-five dollars and eighteen cents. Then under there it said uh, six five dollars. Uh, that's what we owe Mr. Jason. He bought uh, us food for us. Uh, that was the first meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. So to be, to be free that we, I wrote a check for six five dollars. Then the next it says credit. Uh, $25 and that was Miss Renita Thornton she paid $25 yeah. the last meeting yeah mm -hmm. that's right uh -huh. so the end of balance would be $7,835 and 
18 cents. Mm -hmm. And that's conclude my report. I move we accept the report. Oh, we got a second. All right. All right. Yeah, second, except the uh, financial report is read. Um, before I go into old business here, I want to um, welcome. We have a new face here. Oh, it's Brandon. Yep. How you doing, Brandon? Sure. Doing all right. Jason Hyman. Um, we introduce ourselves. Y'all so are, are you living in the neighborhood, Brandon? Yeah, I live right up with Okay. Oh. And I think I, I think I saw your oh. company. You sent an email yeah, I sent to email okay. as well, but I mean I also live down the street. So. Okay. Okay. Well, glad you can come out and make. It. How did you hear about the meeting tonight? Uh the website. The website. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's cool. all. Excuse me, your name again? Brandon. Bra Brandon. Okay, thank you. What's your last name, sir? Oh, Cofield. I'm sorry. Cofield. Cofield. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thanks for coming out. I hope you can come back uh, the rest of the year as we meet. How you doing? Uh, okay, let's get into old business. Most of this is updates. It's good stuff here. Um, I want to start off with yard signs. So uh, this was finally here kicked off the uh, initiative with the yard signs and went and found a vendor and put everything together and then sent it over to me and we approved some things. I think we changed one thing since you saw it, which was a color to match the website, but I have yard signs now. Oh, wow. So they came in. Oh, I'll wow. show you guys these Ooh. signs. We made them. They have some color to them. And we to, we to gonna go out. first, and if they say something, send them to me. Okay. Yeah. If they if we gonna put them out, we gonna do what we have to do for ourselves. And if the city calls you or something, or they call, call call me. They give me whoever it was, and I'll call and handle whatever needs to be handled. But I, I don't think we should have an issue putting signs in the yards. So. Well, because I, I, it was at the curb that I thought it would be. She's talking about the right of way as opposed yeah. to the yard. Right, right. right. I, I understand what you're saying, but I mean, we got folks that put, we buy houses in our yards. We got folks that put all kind of crap out of here. Right. We're trying to do something positive. I know, but they, what they end up doing is pulling them up and they send them letters. See, mm -hmm. and that's why I just wanted to make sure that we need to get permission first, you mm -hmm. know, or to find out. You know, because it's, it's for always, our civic organization, it's not uh, a sales advertisement. Because even when someone is selling a house, they can't put it on the right mm -hmm. way. They'll make them move it. Mm -hmm. That's the rest of the houses afterwards. Um, in that time, I, I'll reach out to, to the city yes, and yes. figure out. Because sometimes it's not a problem for civic organizations, but I don't know if we have to get permission. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It so would be I, a shame I, to lose them. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not sure that it would be a problem. But like I said, you may have to get permission. Okay. No, yeah. that's no problem. I'm not sure. That's no problem. I mean, if we and even if we have to cheat a little bit and put oh, no, it on, no, the, I'm on, on the in inside it. somewhere, <laughs> we'll. As long as we get them out and people can see them, um, I like for everybody to have. I like for all ten of these signs uh, to be out before next meeting. We have mm -hmm. rosewood and down. Rosewood and Dallas. So we're not on the corner, but there's a parking lot right next to me. But there's nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I'll get you all. Want, my, you I, may want to drive by and, and look. Well, you guys are close to the main street. Uh huh. Yes. The first house. Right. So that might be a good a good place for it. We were gonna. We were actually going to secure it to up to our fence, mm -hmm. so you could see it. See it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, after the meeting, I'll get like my corner houses and you know my wheeler, and we'll I'll start there. Yeah, start and then the we'll corners. do the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yard signs. Um, any other comments, questions? Good job. All right. So that's a win. Um, the marquee. So Miss Cheryl, our former president to get the marquee done, and we have some progress. So. Um, it was in permitting and approvals. Uh, it went through that process. We're just waiting for the permit to be mailed back to us. At the so the contractor is on standby. Okay. 
and we pretty much have a go to get the marquee built. Okay. I'm going to send this around. This is kind of a rendering of the marquee and then where it's going to go. So you guys can take a look around. Right. So that's another win. Sure is. Yeah. <laughs> another win. Moving forward. Moving forward. That's right. So I'm hoping that <laughs> we have signs, we have marquees before the end of the year. Um, we push, start pushing some content through our platform to kind of let people know we're here, what, 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 what concerns we have, uh, the good things we're doing, and uh, going into the new year to try to gain a, a lot more momentum, a lot more people on our, on our bandwagon so we can start going after, uh, start making some noise to different organizations and municipality about the things that we want, want to get done. Uh, let's see what we have next here. Any any other anything else about the marquee? I don't have an exact construction date just yet because we haven't got the permit back. But because the east, I mean the um, uh, the uh, the uh, mid it's not midtown uh, mm -hmm. the they're paying for it right. The southeast management district is taking care of it. It's going to be right on. I think it's Blodgett and Ennis in mm -hmm. in the right of way. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think they've now already taken. It's two of them, right? Or just one? No, initially, yeah, initially, for some reason, is it got moved back to Alabama, but I don't know what happened. But it's it's going on blotchy. Well, because it was it, supposed to be two. That's it's what just, happened. It's just oh, oh wow. it's supposed to be two. It's just as yeah, one. Yeah, that's why Alabama was in it because Alabama okay. was supposed to be one because that's the end of Washington Terrace and Blodgett and um, was the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Well, See, so that's add, how I, that was I, supposed to, to have happened. Okay, Two I'll, signs. Because I'll, we stopped on the, what is it, the, I think it would be the even side of Alabama uh -huh. is where Washington Terrace in. When you cross the street, that's, um, what is it, I'm, I'm not sure what that is, that neighborhood is. It's considered really. That's considered third ward. Where oh, it gets to that. forty-five from well, I'm, Alabama I'm, to forty-five. I'll ask Miss Cheryl about it, but uh, as far as I know, we'll have that one. Well, that's, that, I mean, that's, that's still one is good, but, but it was supposed to have been two. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think I think with I think with the signs. Just the signs alone will give us a lot of visibility. Yeah, and let you people know, know to let that other people is, is exactly folks that are moving in, folks that have been here, to let mm -hmm. them know that we haven't gone mm -hmm. anywhere. We're still, we're still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this one will be placed on Logic. This will be placed on Logic. Logic mm -hmm. and Dowling is that? It, yeah. Blodgett, in, like in, Ennis, I think it's in, closer to Ennis. Ennis. Oh, yeah, yeah on the where end. it was. Yeah, because yeah. that's where it was supposed uh -huh. to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. has, has anybody seen, has the old one been torn down? I haven't paid attention going out that way. I don't think it, is there's anything. Is the old one still anything, there? I don't, I don't think there's anything left of it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it must have been It's been gone. gone. It's gone yeah. down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, okay, that's Marquita's next item here. So we kind of hit a, a, a wall last week, a la not last week, <laughs> last month, talking about the art and mural projects and having kind of an artistic identity within our neighborhood. Um, anybody run into any other site, potential site locations or ideas around that? You know, they're putting up, because we didn't have those, you know, those electrical boxes that mm -hmm. they have on site. We have a few now. They just put them up. We do. In, out, yes. We One do. is on Live Oak and Roof. They just put it up there, and I'm not sure where else. Because She's they're talking about the electrical box, like, like Cleburne and Live Oak. And they just put those yeah, electrical boxes yeah. there. Or where the people were painting them around. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the neighborhoods. Well, we, we talked about that last meeting, right? And one of the things was where we were trying to find um, things that we can do without having to have sign off with the city or large expenses so that was one of them that came up that everybody liked mm -hmm. but the cost involved mm -hmm. um, and then having to get the city involved kind of well I think that they would be on board because they're on board through the, the aren't cost they is it's, oh, yeah. to actually get a permit to be able to no, do it. Just to do it. You yeah. have to go through oh, the city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you have to go right. through the city. Oh, that's you have to go through I the I thought it was a local neighbor because that's what I got in the impression 
that within the neighborhood there's local artists that actually the, the city has a list of artists a oh, coalition wow. of artists wow. and they use and it. you have to go through the city and they they I don't know how they pick which artists do yours but that's, that's you, right. you go yeah. through the city for Jason it. I thought we kind of went along with we'd rather do the mural didn't the, we we did talk I about mean, the mural I, 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 I went by um, this the area Greg mentioned and just kind of looked at the fencing and stuff there so it's just be a matter of trying to figure out what we want to put there but I was just trying to explore all the options I did talk to uh, there's a guy there's a couple of companies and organizations that are doing like a blue tile type initiative and they're oh, trying to help restore the blue tiles where the, yeah. the addresses are and mm -hmm. um, I called a guy he didn't he didn't follow back up with me but um, it's costly so it's like they charge like 10 15 bucks per number oh. <laughs> per number right and i don't I, I wasn't able to talk to him to see if that was like just for the material or or not if that includes actually actually you know, placing it on the curb right? correct correct we need to have an eagle scout do that for us <laughs> <laughs> so, um so it's one of the things that i have on the list to survey as we survey the neighborhood to see kind of like where we have um, signs that are bad or missing, where we have um, historic markers that are messed up or are missing, mm -hmm. that we'll have a kind of a compilation of mm -hmm. where everything is and we can make a little bit better, I think a little bit better decision. If we have 20 of them, we can come up with a more finite budget and pitch it to somebody. Because this is a lot of people out here. It seems like they're trying to put their name on neighborhoods like this. Sure. Like, let them, as long as it helps. So, um, so that's that's what that's what the Art Mural Project. As far as on was it Emancipation and Cleburne right there? Yeah, I have no idea what we can put right there that's a representative of the history of the neighborhood. Kind of, on Eagle, yeah, yeah it kind of lets people know. Yeah, I think it's great. There's a lot of traffic right there, so I mean, right. whatever we put there would definitely be seen. Yeah, you know. But didn't we, didn't we decide when you gave us all those pictures of those different murals? Didn't we, as a group, pick out two that we liked the best? We did, but then kind of like what Jason is getting at, it's like that's. Like we have a certain aesthetic that we want to go for, but we don't necessarily have um, a means of doing it yet. Like we haven't really formally decided upon that. Um, what I can do is my next meeting, and me and Jason could try to work it out. Do some follow up on a couple of artists. If we could agree on, I guess, if. I think Jason's trying to figure out if there's a consensus on using that site, and then we can do some follow-up on using that as, as and, the art place. Excuse me. I thought we were going to check with the university and see if maybe one of the art teachers could get a class mm -hmm. to do it for us. And so I tried to do some follow-up on that, but then I was kind of discouraged. <laughs> oh. So, oh. Well, like, try the high school. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, so I, I found some other artists who mm. have done art for HISD, like in both HISD as well as parks. So they kind of already have like experience in at least like kid and family oriented art. Um, oh, okay. And, and but I haven't really. I just. When I was talking to them, I was saying we haven't really decided on the site yet. We yeah. don't quite know what we're doing yet. So are you looking for a proposal, like a motion that this be our site? So, I don't know. You know, they, to, you know <laughs> no, no, that's that's a great question. That's a great question. If, if that's more, uh, you guys feel more comfortable doing something formal that way, that we pick that site and we can go and talk to the owner there. He already was open to us doing something there, and and we. <laughs> Kind of see what that what unfolds because um, I think the next step is yeah finding an artist and trying to get some renderings of what specifically we would want there. You know, 
you know, they, you know, around Houston, uh, there's actually a tour. You can actually Google, and there's several of them. Like the guy that did that mural on the building, and I can't remember what it was. It seats. There's several uh, artists, and some of it is a sort of a, a mixture of mural and graffiti. But you can actually tour. You know, yeah, okay. I, I forgot. I forgot. Who, a, but there's several of them, and so. I mean, because they're, they're actually, it's a part of Houston scape, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't remember, and there's several artists. Is it possible, and I'm not sure to look into having something that's a part of, I mean, you know, we could possibly talk to that artist, so whomever would be chosen mm -hmm. to come up with some kind of an idea that's similar to, and it, and it, and it it's an attraction. It's it's like that. That was more the, the thought of it because I think we we threw around light poles. We did, we threw around mm -hmm. sidewalks. Right. We threw around the end, the end of driveways to try to make something to bring people out to maybe walk the neighborhood or to have something a little more uh, worth highlighting. Mm -hmm. um, well, if we, if we talked about National Night Out and how we have so many people there that might be able to help. Right. Sure, maybe so. And I think when I'm talking to the artists. That's kind of the route that I was thinking about going because that's you know community involvement. Um, mm. But don't we need a motion to right. definitely uh, do a site and yeah. then talk to the artist? Can, can, are we all in agreement yes. that this that site? I that move we're, that we approve the site that was chosen on uh, what is it uh, emancipation in Eagle emancipation. for our, our project for the neighborhood. I second. All right. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna see what what is all encompassed in getting that site taken care of. Is it possible with going back to the um, little the, the the signage for the street, the redoing, reduplicating, re the blue tile? The, the blue tile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I remember we talked about possibly. Sending out, I think it's like what 400 or 500 and some odd uh, households, houses, homes in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, sending out a something, a letter asking if they would be interested, and also including that, let them know that hey, you know, yearly dues is $25 with an envelope attached to it so that we could obviously drum up that $25 possibly and see if the interest would be there. And if you have, let's say 300 people that are willing to, because it's not 300 and some odd people who are willing to, to, to do this, then would the cost be less if this person did? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good point because we, you could also have a little booth at the National Night Out, they did the same thing and had right. a picture of the tile and just ask if anybody's interested in sponsoring a corner or whatever. Yeah. No, I think it's a good idea. But or getting uh, people take, to, because I don't think people understand, it's just, I mean, it's voluntary, but it's mm -hmm. only $25 a year for the dues, mm -hmm. and they don't know that it's something to, and that would be a nice way to kind of maybe enhance our bottom line and possibly you maybe contribute something to yeah. that mm -hmm. cause. So I mean I'm new obviously but that was the thing I emailed you about like wanting to work on some of the roofs in the Jump Third Ward area but there's such a high percentage of renters. I mean how do you that's the only thing is getting to the actual homeowner and not just being some college kid or whoever is living there you know, and just looks at it and is like uh -huh, I get to want to get to it and I forget. So I don't know, if, I was going to ask if you guys have a means of getting to homeowners, if there's like a registry, because otherwise, I don't know how you get information to. So, so with homeowners, and this is something that we're going to have to discuss when we do a mail out. Um, I definitely want uh, a community of inclusion, so I want renters here too, because we, we actually live with them. Um, but I do want to get to the owners as well for issues that the, ren the renters can't take care of. Um, right now, the only means of contacting them is just direct mail to the taxpayer record of address. Yeah. 
So, um, and I think we have something like 403 homes in this. And we may have more than that. Well, I mean, that was included in the letters, I think, that we sent. Initially sometimes. sent out? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, uh, may I say one more thing? Okay. Speaking of National Night Out, mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago we did have a National Night Out, and we met at the park next to Shape Community Center. Oh. That's where we had it. Mm -hmm. And it turned out real well. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me... I think we're, that's going to come up here. Let me let me go back to uh, we have emancipation of eagle, so that was yeah. he meant we're okay there. All that's right, good. so this next item here, neighborhood survey. Um, last month we talked about we put a budget together. I think three hundred bucks just for incidentals that we may come up in surveying the neighborhood. So Brandon, last meeting we talked about um, we talked about trying to get an assessment of the neighborhood. So, you know, roofs may be something that falls into play, but more so um, property condition. We want to know vacant lots, blighted lots, um, curb, street, sidewalks, just a, just a full assessment of the neighborhood. Um, so kind of what I've done is looked at the big map to just to figure out what the best strategy is. So I feel like at this point, it's probably going to be about two to three days of work. Um, to actually collect the data, but it may take a month to 60 days probably to actually compile and put that into an actual system or some type of GIS mapping to get us some actual information back. Um, I like to start week after next walking the neighborhood or at least doing windshield surveys. Um, I did reach out to TSU to see if I get some students, but it's the summer and yeah. I, I didn't know students don't like doing work in the summer. <laughs> so Especially I didn't think about that when, when you know when we talked last last month that it was the summer. Um, so it's likely going to take some a, a few good men and women from the neighborhood. So you'll likely see some type of announcement come out in the next couple of weeks to try to see if I can get a couple of gentlemen, a couple of ladies to maybe um, ride around, and we'll have like maps to ride around and just kind of mark on, mm -hmm. you know, do like a quick 15, 20 minute orientation on what we're doing, and it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, so that's the neighborhood survey. And then I have last item here was reestablish our incorporation, our incorporation. Washington Sarah Civic Association Incorporated. I had a lawyer, a friend of mine, go and look up our history, see what's going on with our paperwork with the state of Texas. And looks like somehow back in 2007, the company was forfeited. So we have to actually reestablish. I don't know why, I don't know what happened. I don't know if somebody didn't forgot to mail in the annual report or something of that nature. Um, but we're not in good standing with the state. and. Of course, with a lot of stuff that I'm talking about doing, and I want us to shoot for, we're going to have to be in good standing with the state. Our 501c3 is going to have to be up to par, our DUNS number, everything that we need to do business with the city or any nonprofit organization or for profit organization. Um, so she sent me back um, some forms. I haven't had a chance to really comb through them yet, but there's a possibility that we can just have them reinstated. Um, but the one Pickup is we don't have Dr. Joyce with us to take care of anything. So I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. Because my name is not on anything, right? So it's hard for me to come come in and make a decision. Her name has been on those documents, you know, I think since eighty four. Mm -hmm. So now that she's not here, I don't know how that's gonna work. She's so. not here like she's passed away. She's passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was last. Was that last year? Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think yeah. that if I mean, I, this, I'm sure it shouldn't be like the bank. I'm sure if you show your documentation from, I'm sure. Do we have documentation of like possibly the presidents of two, since 2007 to the present? showing that it's changed hands because if there's documents I, showing, I, I definitely have from Ms. Cheryl to me. But prior to Ms. Cheryl, well, your minutes, and we have yeah, min yeah, we minutes. have those, yeah, we have some evidence that is, you know, 
it has passed hands, yeah, but sure. I don't know if back to 2007. Yeah. So the sec- the secretary who was with uh, the Civic Association when my husband and I joined, she has passed away also. Sure. And she had been secretary, I think, for quite some time. Oh. So maybe Miss uh, Cheryl might have maybe well, some. I don't know. Also, um, on roof. What was? Miss Thornton. Thornton. Uh-huh. Yes, she should have everything that Miss Cheryl and Renita had. Uh-huh. I have. You have. Oh, I have you. now. So I'm gonna have to comb through it and see what what's there. Oh. Um, but if you got the old man, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna start. Taxing. I think that if you just because it's not that complicated, like a bank account, you know, like they. But it shouldn't be. No. No, it shouldn't be. But I'm going to call, I'm going to start with, you know, Secretary of State mm-hmm. and see what they, Damn. which way do they want to go. Mm-hmm. So, once we have that squared away, then we'll work on um, I'm good. I'm good. reestablishing I'm good. the 501c3. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was, was, was the 501c3, it should have been... When you're when you when you forfeit or when you're not in good standings with mm-hmm. the state mm-hmm. and you're not pretty much in good standings, they they kind of will stop that as well. I don't know why, but I remember when we were trying to get the and it was under because the civic association paid for the little fee to have you know, the the no parking. I, when when I walked it and did all the stuff, it said that and we did it through the civic association. Mm-hmm. So. To my understanding, when we were discussing that, all of those things, because what was the what only problem that when we were discussing it during that period was that our um, the uh, the homeowners uh, the oh god I just want, don't want to misname it but mm-hmm. the um, Neighborhoods um, bylaws. By no, no, no. Um, uh, deed restrictions. Mm-hmm. See, that's what we are really working on because that was about to expire. So to even do that, you still had to have, you know, because we we talked about that. So that's really, and I've only been here since two thousand six. No. So and I'm. No, I just I just um, January when. I was sworn in. I went in to go look up all that stuff to make sure it was right. squared yeah, away, it and yeah, none of mm-hmm. it is none of it's in good standing. So I want to make sure because they recognized us, you know, when we get when we were doing the no parking, mm-hmm. and I mean because like I said, the I, city, the city did. The city the city now the, the city might you gotta understand it is still humans working behind all this paperwork. They may have not have done a lot of due diligence to see that. Mm-hmm. They may have just took it for you know it's Washington Civic Association they've been around for a while right. it happens right. but as far as with with the state, with the state itself yeah. no we have to get back in good standing mm-hmm. yeah okay so um, so that kind of brings me to just a reminder I don't know if you guys remember at the beginning of the year we had this I said we want to renew Washington mm-hmm. Terrace you guys probably don't remember the acronym very much so <laughs> but the first one was to reposition, right? So we've done that. We've, we've added more meeting times during the year. We're getting our corporation papers straightened out. We're working on, you know, a lot of the foundation items this year, right? And then the second one was exposure. So we have some exposure items. We're working on some more with art and things like that. Neighborhood plan was the next one. So that's in motion. Um, and then the last two were executing and winning, atti- winning attitude, right? So we're going into this time where it execution mode, okay? Mm-hmm. So the last couple meetings will probably be more, I think I'm gonna try to get some speakers in to sh- teach us a little bit more about some financing tools, uh, whether it be grant writing or certain funds that are available to us to kind of mm-hmm. give us um, a little background on what we need to do and how we need to do it. Um, So with that being said, um, the end of this year going into next year, everybody that's put in some time 
I want to do just a little more, right? Because we have to execute. So um, we talked about National Night Out. So I just want to kind of put on you guys' mind some of the other items we have. So you have the National Night Out or Block Party. We need to get on top of that real soon. Um, and what date is that? We need to. We need to. It's we need to have. We need to. Well, that's something to discuss. That's something that I, you know we need a small group to discuss offline that can mm -hmm. handle the planning and mm -hmm. coordinating of that because maybe we don't want to do the same time as everyone well, it, else. It's national. Yeah. It's national. I, 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 I understand that, <laughs> but I'm a little unorthodox. We don't have to do it with everyone else. We can have it mm -hmm. our own. You know, that, that's, but that's but true. it's whatever yeah, we want to do. That's true. The, the thing about doing it, I guess, with everyone else is that it, it's to raise awareness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, so that mm -hmm. all of the public officials, mm -hmm. you know, they kind of line up and come here and they come here. And okay. They come here mm -hmm. and they come here. Well, it's definitely still mm -hmm. is something that you know it's the end of July, mm -hmm. so we have what two months, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll probably be sending mm -hmm. all the rest of the stuff that I'm up. Uh, go over the stuff that I'll probably be sitting around the next month or so trying to get some interaction to see if you know some small groups of form outside of this meeting to start mm -hmm. planning and coordinating mm -hmm. National Night Out for instance. You, you register for it online. You register for Civic Association. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was another thing. I had to register our Civic Association with the city. They didn't even have us on the map. They didn't have us anywhere. <laughs> so we had to That's why it's so strange. That's it like is. I said, it's mm -hmm. yeah. Because it was like when we were things just fighting T-Bar and But things change hands. Yeah. Things yeah, change well, hands. I understand, That's all but I, I would have thought that it would have yeah, that come up stayed. that, you know, yeah. hey, you know, y'all are here. or Because mm -hmm. I think, I don't it, no. it's been such a while ago because it was with Miss Thornton. And, like, I mean, like, I was to the city and walking streets and so forth and, and oh, going to the city. I, I had to go down like, and charge them up and hey look, mm -hmm. y'all left us off. So mm -hmm. they, especially in the Complete Communities Initiative, we weren't on their mapping. So now we're on their map. Mm -hmm. um, so their last newsletter they, they sent out said they sat down and talked with Washington Terrace. I said yeah, mm -hmm. came okay. knocking. So okay. we should get more information mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Let's see that. So National Night Out um, membership, you know, we're trying to raise awareness. Of, we're hoping we get new members. You mm -hmm. know, we need some way to kind of welcome them or even just to make sure we're in front of them to mm -hmm. let people know that this is a voluntary membership organization, mm -hmm. like you're saying. So some of the ideas you were saying earlier, we have one or two people that are okay with coordinating some of those things. Um, newsletters. Online is easy. But I understand we have, so we have meetings, we have Facebook, which is kind of family, we got YouTube, which is a little younger, mm -hmm. um, but then we have folks here that just, mail is going to be their direct contact, but we can't afford to do it that much. So I'm thinking maybe if we can do something to mail out at least maybe twice a year, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we need a group or we need someone that's okay with putting that maybe one page together that has, you know, survey on it or that has some information on it that could go out to owners, mm -hmm. renters, alike. Mm -hmm. So if we can get one out this year or our first one maybe be beginning of January, that would be, you know, really good. Just kind of highlighting the last year and letting people know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so we got newsletters. And then the last piece is uh, fundraising. So we're spending money now, <laughs> and we want to go after we want to go after larger pots of money, like different grants and things like that. But we still need to raise money just for our day to day small things that we can take care of on our own, so we can have something to bring to the table. So fundraising, uh, whether it be like business sponsorships and things like that, ideas that we can do around those. Those are kind of our let's see one two three four. I guess you can call them committees that we need to start trying to work on and put together. So I will send a request around. If any of you all are interested, just see me after the meeting so I can start, you know, making those groups or emails so I know to hit send out too. Um, the last piece on our agenda are just quick announcements. 
of a couple of meetings that I attended the past month. Mm -hmm. um, any any comments, questions on, I guess you can call it new business, but more so the volunteer opportunities that we have to fill? Mm -hmm. I, I want to point out that the Metro's going to have their big meeting uh, at the Third Ward Multi-Service Center. I think it's August the 6th. For the planning, Metro, next. Yeah, well, you, you get mm -hmm. your input. Mm -hmm. It would be nice, you know, to have a voice there. Mm -hmm. For Metro, next. Yeah, they, I've, I'm seeing that, well, no, go, go ahead. That was, was that all you had? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing as I'm talking to some of the city officials is that everybody's trying to figure out especially in this area, what to do. They have no idea how to handle um, the problems that are in this area, how to cater to everyone, all the people in this area. Mm -hmm. um, they're trying to figure it out. Um, I sat down with Lynn Henson. Lynn Henson is the head of Complete Communities, but she's also over Third Ward. Mm -hmm. um, they've saved us for last, in a sense. Um, not for any particular reason. Um, it is a little bit harder of a, a region to manage. So what they're trying to do is talk with civic organizations and civic leaders and organizations to figure out what the communities actually want. Um, I forgot to print out the survey they gave me, um, but it's on the website, like I think in one of the resources folder. But if you look at that survey, is pretty much just the stuff that we've been talking about, which really surprised me sitting down with them because it, it kind of showed that we're a couple of steps ahead. Mm -hmm. So um, we can stay a couple of steps ahead, ahead of where they are. Um, we can possibly be the model that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay, and lead the discussion, mm -hmm. lead the conversation mm -hmm. on how to, how to get some of their initiatives done. Because I'm serious, they have literally no idea how to approach, especially when it comes to money. Mm -hmm. You know, they are setting aside money, but how does that money go out? Where does it go to? Who, who manages it? They're still trying to figure all this kind of stuff out. So um, I, think, I think we're in a good position. So we just keep pushing it forward. Pick. It's not the six. You just showed me the calendar. That's a Sunday, but it was listed in that material that I gave you. Metro mm -hmm. next. Mm -hmm. uh, and no, it's the first week in August. They have August here, but they don't seem to have the the date. Did, did you have the other uh, piece of paper that, that was kind of colorful? Wait, just a minute. Let me see. Yeah. And I'll, I'll pull it up online and probably send this it, one. Send it Is this around. This one you're talking about. Yeah, does it have it over here? Or? Metro let's next. See, let's see. Let's see. No, there's no date on it. It's no, it's no, no date. No, it was another color. No, I didn't okay. get that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. The other thing, I, if you don't mind, I'm going to make a pitch for Pip. Mm -hmm. I think it would be nice for us to have a voice there. Okay. Uh, uh, the thing where you have a change in the uh, liaison officer. In fact, a lot of their staff has changed. Yeah, it, you know, they can, they can really be a, a huge ally, I think. Uh, you know, you build relationships with them, and mm -hmm. they do things for you. That they're going to do some stuff for uh, National Night Out, and, you know, they arrange speakers like they, they had uh, Art Acevedo there, and they had the mayor there, and, and, you know, it's important for them to hear Washington Terrace's voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Consistently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, mm -hmm. it's not a bad meeting. It's very short. And then after the meeting, uh, Captain Victoria, she she will listen to anything you need to say to her, as it, long as it takes. Is there anybody here that, that goes to the PIP meetings well, we pretty regu regu regularly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we uh, over at the we, PIP meetings? Okay. Yeah. We I'm have saying, gone. We rest? just haven't been recently. But yeah, we, I've we been to a couple gone. of them, but I'm yeah. not, I'm not regular. I don't go regularly. The, uh -huh. the, but the we're discussing, the, the meeting that we were, were discussing at, uh, uh, well, I'm on the board, at mm -hmm. the board meeting, mm -hmm. was, you know, we're going to lose the uh, police the facility facility there, the, the present one that's kind of new looking, 
Where Manuel? Manuel. 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 Right. We're going to lose, lose it because the highway is going to take oh, it. Oh, that's right. Yes. 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 Oh. So I think that we need to have input into its relocation myself. Yeah. Well, that speaks, that speaks you know. not, not to cut you, but you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's convenient. I, I, I plan on coming to maybe yeah, the next we're meeting we're to hear what's going one. on. But yeah. speaking of relocation, that was the other meeting I went to. I think Greg was there as well. It was mm-hmm. for Unity National Bank. So the super neighborhood held a meeting mm-hmm. um, with the new president of Unity National. And in discussions with him, they are considering shutting this location down and possibly building a new location still in the community though uh-huh. um, oh yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there's uh just a just a newer mm-hmm. facility too i think two stories more space they're able mm-hmm. to do a little bit more um they spoke about some online banking improvements um and in loan program some improvements in, in their loan programs and lending lending policy so um i don't know I can't tell you uh, what he w- will or won't do, but that was more so his message that he's looking mm-hmm. to partner with, mm-hmm. you know, with yeah, us. And there was a big, uh, when he took this over, I think it was a couple years ago, a big push, and I mean, it was on TV and yeah, well, the papers. I, I think the big discussion, I think, this unsaid, I don't know if I should be saying it, but <laughs> this unsaid is that I think many people were scared of the change because he is a, a white man. Yeah, no, I, I saw him. I don't know him. Yeah. I mean, but he seemed I, pretty. He seemed pretty straightforward. He seemed like any other banker that but I it know. It was really interesting, though, with him making that call. It was like this. There was a whole bunch of people that opened up accounts there. Even that, oh, that time. Well, yeah. you're talking about, so last year it was the kind of the big push about. Right, you know, and they knew it was here. Supporting, you know, well, black owned right. business. Oh, because right. Unity Bank is yeah. still the black owned. Oh, yeah. It's the only right. black owned bank. In right. Texas. Yeah. Right. And, you know, with the politics of last year, there was, just, there was a big cultural push right. to support right. those type of businesses. And something that happened along those lines, they were. It was so. It was too successful for that bank to handle yeah. at that time. And okay. it got, got in trouble right. because the balance sheet like exploded. Right. <laughs> right. Which is a right. good thing, yeah, but, but from a regulation they perspective, yeah. they didn't have so enough capital what, on their reserves to what, handle the new right. deposits. Mm-hmm. So with the new president, I mean, one of his challenges is kind of basically bringing the bank up to speed to mm-hmm. handle that type of volume. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of how he framed mm-hmm. the notion of a new building, mm-hmm. um, because he's kind of saying that their existing building is too out of date. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. but, but to kind of Jason's point, at least in that meeting, there was a lot of concern about mm-hmm. where we'll be going, and um, you know, people are just very skeptical of it. Yeah. Him, oh, him, okay. him committing to Same staying in the neighborhood. <laughs> Because yeah. that was one of the so he, real pushes that, I mean, because he is the one that came, I mean, you saw him speaking and they were, it was in the paper and everybody knew that he was, he wasn't black, you know, mm-hmm. but people came mm-hmm. and I mean, it was like a slew of people going there to open an account. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't even live in a neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Right. And one of the initiatives, to my understanding, was that he was committed to bringing business back to this area, yeah. mm-hmm. and you know, to this this I mean, the entire area. But you know, well, that was his message. I mean, was, I, I think I think he said he's here for he's he's here. He signed a, a four year contract. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, aside from improving that site, his ag- the owner's agenda is for him to actually grow mm-hmm. the business. Um, a lot of people, um, a lot of people think that banks are grown off customer deposits, but they are more grown off loans than mm-hmm. customer deposits. So he's there to book big loans, mm-hmm. and they want to grow the bank nationally. They want more locations, so they're acquiring smaller banks and things like that. But mm-hmm. as far as here. 
they're saying business should be as usual aside from potential talks they're saying of uh, moving that location somewhere else in the neighborhood mm -hmm. to be able to have better infrastructure and technology around. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will fit in with the uh, police station being demolished. They could go into that old building, uh -huh. but they have to underwrite everything. The police pay nothing for their, their uh, I mean, I'm at a Store. storefront. Mm -hmm. That's what I was getting ready yeah. to tell you. They can go to I, that other building if they want to do a community service. The police don't pay anything for a storefront, but they'll go anywhere where somebody pays them rent and electricity and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're in that apartment complex now, the mm -hmm. storefront, yeah. mm -hmm. instead of being over on emancipation where they need to be. They need to be right in the midst of all those bars they have some yes. on emancipation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But... And so I just asked them, you know, what were the chances of us getting another one? And I have already written a letter, which I didn't, I didn't have enough information, but I, I wrote to Sylvester Turner uh, about our situation. We needed a storefront right in that, mm -hmm. right on that same corner where they want to put in this other bar. Mm -hmm. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, that's when I found out that they don't pay any, any rent or anything. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're in that apartment complex. The yeah. people like for them to be in that apartment complex because it cut their crime in half right. Right. in that sure. apartment complex. But um, if we could find someone along emancipation that would allow them to have, um, you know, office. enough space for an office mm -hmm. and, and uh, parking for their vehicles mm -hmm. and would pay their utilities yeah. mm -hmm. then we would have a chance of getting them relocated somewhere on emancipation mm -hmm. but I think you know that's another thing we need to go yeah, and be involved with those PIP yeah, meetings yeah, because yeah. that's where that decision is going to be made or mm -hmm. whether it's going to be put forth mm -hmm. to uh, to the City Council from that kind of a meeting mm -hmm. and you know that I think that's our best bet about doing anything about those bars and one of the policemen told me <laughs> you know I complain about D-bar all the time because I live next door <laughs> and it's just noisy all the time you know there, and, and there's something going on fight or something in that parking lot all the time but anyway that's the one I complain about and he said Mr. don't complain about that one he said if you knew what was happening mm -hmm. down on emancipation uh, what's the name of that one? Saga. The Saga and, and Spot. He oh, said, further, a little further down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah further down. Jumping. He said that one is twice as bad. Yes. Oh, and wow. I and I didn't see how anything could be twice as bad. No, it's, uh, it's really. But, you know, I really want it? us Saga, to get so involved right past mm -hmm. that we're going to have a say. Mm -hmm. And I. Yeah, that's true. Tell everybody that's talking. Than one, two no, no, no. I get all no. wound well up because I want our neighborhood to be great. Right. You know, I do. Right. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I'm a part of this neighborhood too. I don't care if I am a white woman. I'm, <laughs> I'm a part of this neighborhood. I, agree. I want it to I be a agree. good neighborhood. And I, you I know, agree. I, I like my neighbors. I like you guys. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I really appreciate the way you all have just welcomed. Sylvia and I into of, this of meeting. I have always felt so um, warm mm -hmm. and welcome mm -hmm. in this group, mm -hmm. and I and I really appreciate it. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. I'm glad well, you we do. appreciate you having you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, well, I have. Those are all my announcements. That's all my agenda. Anybody else have anything? I guess announcements aside from I know Metro. One other thing, if you are interested in the uh, improvements for 45, you can go online and Google it, TechStot45 improvements or whatever. Mm -hmm. But as far as I know, they're going to change it from where Main Street crosses 45 mm -hmm. and it will no longer go downtown at all. Yeah. And it will go, and a lot well, of the properties it's going to take will be out of the 5th the and the 3rd Ward. 
What, what, what won't go through that? It's won't not going to be an overpass. Where? The proposal the, is... The uh, whole... Pierce Elevated 45 is going to through downtown. Yeah, it's Pierce Elevated is really gone. Pierce Elevated. It's oh, so that's why... Is that, is that why they've been talking about the, the highway parks or stuff like yeah. that? Right. Yeah. Like, two separate okay. issues. Okay. okay. I don't okay. think having a post, but the whole okay. idea is there will be no more yeah. highways through, right. through, the, through the downtown. Okay. You're going to actually go somehow or another right. around and go... It's going to be street... And then somehow or another you reconnect to a highway. So, All expect, the pills, everything so we need gone. to enjoy construction for the next ten years, baby. Yeah, well, that's well, nice. so, <laughs> a lot of money. The two eighty eight the two eighty eight tollway is being built right now. Right. Yeah. It's scheduled to be finished within the next three years. Mm -hmm. The first phase of the I forty five North mm -hmm. improvement project, believe it or not, is actually them remodeling the trench that is the 2859 interchange. Okay. Even though that's not even part of 45, that's phase one. Right. And that's mm -hmm. going to start in three years. So right after they finish the 288, they're going to start doing the trench. You know how there's a trench? It's underground, mm -hmm. like uh, west of like <coughs> 59 is, mm -hmm. yeah. and at the spur it comes back above ground. They're going to dig all of that underground and then remodel the current 288-59 trash. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going to affect us the most. Did they approve it? I thought it was still... It's, uh, it's, already, cool. it's already approved. It's already financed. They're in the comment period. And they're in the yeah. final comment period. And that actually ends tomorrow. Yeah. That's what's mm -hmm. white right about like, all that two sweet all those little restaurants along. Right. And around. that's phase. It's like phase three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been paying attention a lot to mm -hmm. that. It, you know, it, it doesn't heavily affect us like because the the only streets that will really be touched in our neighborhood is you i've noticed that there's a lot of traffic on emancipation and hutchins now yeah, hutchins, uh, yeah. during the rush hour mm -hmm. um, because hutchins. basically it's treated as like a 288 off ramp almost mm -hmm. but what the new plan does is they're going to extend hutchins and basically build like a feeder yeah. on the west side of those houses, like closest to 288, and the existing right away. So they're not even, they don't need to buy any houses in our area. Huh. Um, on the other side of 288, however, those houses are greatly affected because you know where yeah. there's like a church, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. And, yeah. and so all of those streets are going to be reconfigured because they're going to be going over what will be. The trench. So I think oh, it's going to affect traffic flows in our neighborhood in a way that we probably don't know <laughs> until it's probably built. But um, yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of construction for the next five years. Mm -hmm. so change all thing, change, change all the way around. around. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. other thing we but, talked about was maybe emancipation should not be have parking. That it should be a full four lanes. And not have yeah. parking on either on side, side and two lanes. So that, <laughs> and that was the other Sorry. thing that we thought would it should have been be better. We had talked about that, but it was just like cool teeth to get it no parking because it's it had for the longest when D bar first opened. It was just to come out of our neighborhood to just get on emancipation was horrible, but it, the city wasn't um, well, in I, kind. I, I don't. I don't know if. Mm -hmm their position has changed. I don't know if mm -hmm. it's going to be anything, but like part of their complete community sitting down and talking with them. Mm -hmm. um, one of them, one of the initiatives was changing street uh, street flow mm -hmm. and things like that. So mm -hmm. I have the survey, you know, I kind of know mm -hmm. a lot of what we talk about in the meeting. I'm going to turn it into mm -hmm. them. I haven't filled it out. Uh, I meant to bring one today just so you I can see the questions on them mm -hmm. but they're literally you know specific to the things that we talk about every month right. every month mm -hmm. so I'm just going to regurgitate put it down since you do it one of the things and we had brought this up for a while but because we don't have um, any you know what goes where in the city anything can mm -hmm. go anywhere right but we had discussed with them when we were talking about this, the capacity of the building, ha the parking has to meet that. Mm -hmm. You know, 
and that was one of our biggest gripes you know that okay if you're gonna have these people you cannot they can't just park off every any and everywhere mm -hmm. um, Got that, plan, your that there should be some kind exactly the, of parking the parking yeah, the should yeah. be able to yeah. to meet the capacity of the building or near that capacity mm -hmm. and um you know because at first these people didn't have those they didn't rent those parking lots they were just it was really really bad mm -hmm. but it's still not enough mm -hmm. parking to accommodate mm -hmm. because what we had asked them is that okay you know there's some other lots over here and they could you know shuttle people you know mm -hmm. then you wouldn't have as much of this chaos mm -hmm. and confusion because you wouldn't have all this street parking you only have a few people parking in this lot of you and this lot mm -hmm. and they would be in other right. lots or whatever and not on people's streets mm -hmm. right. well, one other question i do have and i don't know mm -hmm. i mean i know in some capacity the health department's involved but a lot of the food trucks, the, the barbecue pits, the, I mean, that adds its own congestion. You know, people just kind of congregate around corners and stuff like that. And yeah. that stays open way later. Yeah. Um, I mean, whether she's making lemons, you know, lemonade out of lemons, I don't know if they're doing anything in regards to helping fund stuff. It's like, look, you're clearly taken away from the homeowners in this area by adding later presence of parking and things like that. What can those vendors, or what are they doing? I don't think any of them have been held accountable mm -hmm. or, been, or, been, or been approached. We we, because the, at first there was a, well, actually, at first we talked because there was one barbecue and they were parked on the sidewalk and right. constantly there. And that wasn't what one of the city ordinances is that you cannot, if you're going to have a food Block truck or food, it has to move to be cleaned. Yes. And it wasn't that wasn't happening. Went to the city, and mm -hmm. of course they cited them a couple of times, and they moved mm -hmm. it. But it's like mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's a very difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just have to keep plugging at it and keep going, sending emails mm -hmm. saying, "What are y'all doing?" And I mean, you know, it stopped for a while, but with mm -hmm. these new food trucks coming in, mm -hmm. it just isn't. Um, mm -hmm. It. I don't know. I don't see anybody taking any. So, so, so you kind of suggest seeing how they can pitch in to be a part of. Right. I feel like they're going to be there no matter what, at least yeah. in the foreseeable future. But no if there's a like a like a like a, and I see what you're saying. Maybe a parking lot where they park and then people can go there. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, yeah, like they've a got food that. They've court. got that in Austin. Yeah, right. Exactly. Park. And these people, where, like, you know, they allow food trucks. And yeah, because if it's like because there's vacant property over on Hutchinson that is could be leased or whatever and they can set up there because I think there's one on what is that Almeda mm -hmm. under there was like they used to go there a food mm -hmm. truck night or something like that or know. something to that yeah. effect uh -huh. you know I've seen them a couple times never stop but yeah. I mean if they're going to be out there let there be a designated place for them and then people can go there and get their food but or the truck the trucks aren't a problem it's the traffic yeah, yeah. traffic right. that they bring right. the U-turns, the stopping in the middle of the street. I know, but that's right. what I'm saying. If yeah, they were right. in a designated, yeah. like they had, like I think right. that said that they even have a place set up at that mm. on Almeda, on the corner mm. of Almeda, and I'm not sure what that. Is. I, I know what you're talking. No, I, I, I yeah. get what you're saying. I'm just trying to make sure I got it. Is not the food trucks, but the message is not. We're not trying to get rid of the get food. Rid no, of food trucks. No, you're not going to I don't think that's right. I think that's a, it's a nice opportunity because other cities have it, but not have it. Let's do it the right like, way. Yes. Yeah, let's do it the right way. Yes. The okay. Somewhere. Maybe yeah. that should be your block party yeah. idea, is to have a bunch of different food trucks. Say you're the host, charge each of them 150 bucks to come. Because it's the same ones. I mean, yes, whatever I ride around, it's people exactly. like, I mean, they'll, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll be friends and they're like, oh, you even had that one? Like, this one's here every week. Yeah, and there's yeah. the same one. Say, they're in okay, their own not. way, just as much a yeah. part of the community yeah. mm -hmm. at this yeah. point. But I think yeah. if you yeah. look at, at all the bars, they mm -hmm. have the same food truck issues. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of them will have their bar parking lots are large enough. And they don't have a whole bunch of them. They only have a couple, and they'll be in the parking lots. Mm -hmm. You know, not on the street corners, not on the they're in, mm -hmm. in specific locations. Mm -hmm. Because even at HEB on certain days, they have right. all the food trucks out there. That 
it's good. some kind of that could be established. Mm -hmm. Not that they're sitting on they're all yeah. in one location and mm -hmm. people just mm -hmm. come and right. and you know they can. Right. I mean, it's not and it doesn't infringe on because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it on people who are trying to sleep or who are so in their just, homes. We definitely need to yeah, I noticed, address uh, location mm -hmm. and then trying to collaborate with them. It's trying yeah. to get them to work together may be a little bit of a challenge but like I it's said, okay the, food the, trucks the parking, I think it's there was loaded. parking on Hutchinson mm -hmm. or something Hutchins and you know that it was some vacant mm -hmm. lot you remember I think I can't it was a while ago it was talking about them getting additional parking for their patrons to mm -hmm. and they could shuttle them from that area mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but I think that only way that could possibly they could really think about it is they you take away the parking on emancipation mm -hmm. yeah Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really? Oh, right. Right. Uh, all right. So, is anybody else, anything else we have? All good? All right. Well, I noticed, may I? Go ahead. I noticed uh, all the conversations this evening have been great and good information. And I don't know if this would be out of our jurisdiction, but I'm real concerned about what are the plans for Riverside Hospital? Is that, oh, that's true. Could we have a speaker or somebody to come and talk to us? I'm I'm awesome. Awesome. Let me put this down there because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. I've had a handful of discussions <laughs> about Riverside Hospital, and there's been some. There's been a lot of chatter about it, so mm -hmm. okay. let's see what we can figure out, find out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Riverside Hospital. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, what time do we have? I have uh, eight, eight, eight of four. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> meeting adjourned. Very good. All good. <laughs> <laughs> I move that we adjourn yeah, this meeting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second. All right. Good meeting. Um, it was. Got a lot going. Very productive. Thank you. Not done. Oh, 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 oh